Dubai. Been shopping there, been on holiday there. We now with its skyscrapers, luxury villa. It's brash, it's flashy, it's successful. But what they lack in sandy seafronts, they make up for with, well, money. Everything I've ever seen about Dubai tells me it isn't for me. It's a city built for the wealthy and everything is designed to be as luxurious as possible. And I use the word designed intentionally. While you're here, you feel like you're in a place that shouldn't exist. It's in the middle of a desert and it's too hot to be outside for more than 10 minutes. But despite that, there exists one of the most massive cities in the world. You like tall buildings? We got the tallest building. You like five star hotels? We have seven star hotels. You like infinity pools? We got the highest infinity pool. Oh no, you wanted a deep pool? Well, we got the deepest pool. The culture of the city is like if somebody opened the Guinness Book of World Records and said, all right, bet. So with all this vanity and ultra luxury, I just had one question. What is there for a normal person to do in Dubai? Okay, welcome to Dubai. Here we are on the 55th floor. I thought you'd be able to see more at night, but there's not a lot going on. I think everything's behind us. We are doing a stop over here for one day. I think we have like a big tour tomorrow and like a desert safari, but today we have a little bit of time. It's about nine o'clock. We're gonna go check out the famous Dubai mall. Most of Dubai's main attractions are on one straight line that runs parallel to the coast. So for our purposes, we decided to just hop on the public transit to just get to where we wanted to go. But I think most people opt to get around Dubai by Uber. Now our destination was Dubai's main mall at the base of the Burj Khalifa. This mall is filled with luxury and designer goods. So obviously we didn't buy anything, but mostly we just walked around. We ended up at this restaurant that was kind of every type of cuisine. I got this wagyu steak and this spicy salmon roll. And it had great views of the Burj Khalifa and kind of the courtyard outside. And this is a theme we start to notice. Like the culture of Dubai is kind of whatever you want. Fiesta Italiana. Not only can you have Mexican food, but you can also have Italian food at this hotel. <laughs> As long as you have the money. This meal was $120, but maybe we paid for the vibes. We just woke up in Dubai, and you can now actually see out this window. Kind of crazy to look at. Like, everything is just so brown. You can see out there. It's kind of a cloudy day or a dusty day. I don't know what it is. What's on the agenda today? So, today is my birthday. Yay. Happy birthday. Um... So we're gonna go grab breakfast downstairs in the hotel. I think we're gonna get picked up because we signed up for one of those like all day tours through Emirates. Um, and we're supposed to go sightseeing on a boat and then a desert safari. <laughs> So this day one Dubai experience was two part. First part was mostly just driving around in a bus, looking at all the stuff that people much richer than you get to do. There's also a boat cruise in the marina that was pretty fun, but man, was it hot. I don't know if you can see anything in this camera. It's gonna be all fogged up, but man, it is a sauna out here. Currently like 102 degrees Fahrenheit. For being in the desert, it is humid, man. Our guide Thomas really brought the energy. He's a Dubai resident for over 10 years. He's really proud of the city and enthused to share with others. And he even made us dance, which I should never be doing. Another thing they'll show you is this old spice market. To be honest, I couldn't tell if this was authentic or just touristy. It's that call to prayer when the shopkeepers come out and they uh, do their prayer. Thoughts? Delicious salt and caramel. And delicious and caramel, caramel milk. And my sweat. <laughs> Your face is glistening. Okay, and the last part of the day was something called dune bashing. Now, I didn't really know what this was. Here's Tiffany with the camel. We're at our last activity of the day, which is dune buggies, dune bashing, they call it in the desert. So I thought we were gonna be going out in ATVs like I've seen other people do in the desert, but that's not what this was at all. We get to the end of the road and the guy starts deflating the tires. Basically, they take an SUV, they drive it out into the desert, and they do everything they can to try and flip it. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Thank you, Camille. <laughs> and we get some really cool pictures out of it. Mm -hmm. 
and then we ended the day off eating dinner at this little encampment out in the middle of the desert. It was buffet style. All the food was good. Um, chicken was delicious. I am sweating bullets. As you can see, we're listening in sore hair. It is so hot, but food's good. And we got some entertainment. He does not want to be fat. He just had a long day of work. They went through a whole host of traditional Arabian dances. And that basically closed us out. We had four hours of sleep before we caught our next flight. So we kind of rushed out of here and tried to get whatever sleep we could. Ah, what a video. Would you say there's stuff to do in Dubai for a normal person? We did the tour. It was like relatively inexpensive but like as you're walking through the malls and like we stopped by a restaurant to eat we paid probably two hundred dollars for two entrees one dessert and like one lemonade which is a lot so i would say do it's probably it's doable i it might be like a little bit limiting for the budget and would you recommend dubai as a tourist destination feels like a good place for a stopover which is exactly what we did but I don't necessarily know if there's enough that calls to me to stay in Dubai for more than two, three days max. So I think if you have a long flight and are looking to break it up so it's a little bit more tolerable, I do recommend like taking a stopover and looking at the airline that you're flying to see if they have a stopover program. You go to the Emirates website and they have activities and hotels that you can book and link to your itinerary. Um, so I do recommend that, but I, I don't necessarily know if like I would go to Dubai without the context of it being a stopover. That's gonna wrap us up. Be sure to check out the next video, which will be South Africa and check out my previous videos. Be sure to drop a subscribe. What else? Um, and happy travels. See ya.